The passion about brewing is the final product. Beer is the best beverage in the world, I'd say. I like to make it, I like to drink it, and I like to see other people drinking my product. My name is Stefan Tobler, I'm the brewmaster of Okanagan Spring Brewery, part of the Sleeman family here in Vernon, and I do this now since 1992. It's basically the end product, that's the best part. Of course, I do like beer, and I can make the beer I like, that's even the better part. If you get frustrated, you just go have a beer. <laughs> well, at Okanagan Spring, the emphasis was basically brewing beer after the Bavarian Purity Law of 1516, stating only four ingredients are allowed to use in beer. The quality of the product, people like, and the flavors of the product, the people like, and that's why we just continuously seeing an increase in, in our product. And that was the reason for further expanding. We've been in this situation as in the last 30 years that we literally always run at capacity. Sleeman Breweries uh, was founded in 1834. Fortunately, the, the operations were shut down in 1933 to then be uh, reopened in 1988 by John Sleeman. We expanded nationally with Okanagan Springs acquisition and today uh, we are the third largest uh, brewing company in Canada. A couple of years ago, we saw the need to expand our Okanagan Spring brew house capacity. That's where we had the opportunity to partner with McCray Integration and Rockwell to put in place a brew house control software where the brewers have some degree of input, but also the entire brew house is controlled through our automation process. If you make a good beer, and the main thing is to be successful is consistency. And the only way you can get that consistency is with automation. Factory Talk Brew is an automation system that runs your brew house processes in sequence. That base product is built on Rockwell's Plant PAX system, which is uh, a great system because it's globally supportable. And then the really fancy part of it is the database uh, that sits on top that allows the brewmaster to actually interface with his production. Now I just go under the screen and do a recipe change. It frees up my time, but also it freed up some time on the brewers. We went from eight brews to 11 and a half brews. With the old system, the human could not handle the 11 and a half brews because there's so many, there's so many tasks going on. Now the automation took that part over and he can actually step back and just overlook the process. The biggest win for us was hearing that they were able to produce 11 and a half brews in a day. Previously, their high of eight had been a limitation. Especially now, we are uh, very complex. Uh, at one point, there was only the five brands. Now, we are 13 brands. So when you have all these brand changes, then we make sure that they have the right brand at the right time, the right place. With the autism, I don't think that was possible. Today we hold about 8% uh, of uh, the Canadian beer industry and uh, the data that we collect through uh, automation allows us to uh, benchmark the, the breweries where it provides our operators and the, on the front line the data that they can assess their own operations performances. If you're not looking at the numbers, if you're not looking at the data, you're not looking at opportunities and those opportunities will go by you so fast that it will show up in your results at the end of the year. A lot of time it's the slowest piece of equipment in the brew house. You want to have a lot of time run continuously. Even if the lot of time is empty for 10 minutes and it's empty for every brew in the, during the day, I might not see the 10 minutes. But I got other things to do. But those 10 minutes, if I add that up over the whole week, there's suddenly four brews missing at the end of the week that what we could done. And that's what I want to get after with uh, some more automation. That's, that's the next step. Sit with me, brother, and sit down, my sister, and talk.
cross all your cares beneath the table. Call for the barkeep to tend to the thirsty. Fresh pints for all of the faithful. It's satisfying seeing people drink your beer. And the best part is when they order another one after they just finished the first pint. So I don't think there's a better job. Oh, yeah.